everybody! Weatherbug here with some tips to help you have a fun and safe summer, no matter what the weather brings. A wildfire is an unplanned and unwanted wildland fire that typically begins in rural zones but can spread to populated areas. Wildfire season depends on the region. They're more likely when temperatures and winds are high, humidity is low, and there's plenty of dry fuel, particularly during droughts and heat waves. Lightning, volcanic eruptions, and spontaneous combustion can start a wildfire. But nearly 85% of wildfires in the U.S. are caused by humans. You and your family should create a plan in case of a wildfire. Know about the risks in your area. Have two escape routes out of your neighborhood and the meeting place designated. And build a basic emergency supply kit for you and your pets. Fire isn't the only potential danger of a wildfire. Smoke and dust can be hazardous, so pay attention to air quality reports. Also, food and water that's exposed to heat Smoke or soot can be dangerous and should immediately be thrown out. Any beach with breaking waves can have channeled currents develop that flow away from the shore, typically at low spots and sandbars or near structures like piers. These rip currents are the greatest surf zone hazard to all beachgoers, even experienced swimmers. Be on the lookout for a channel of choppy water, a line of foam or seaweed moving out to sea, any break in the wave pattern approaching the shore, or any area of water that's noticeably a different color. Stay calm, conserve your energy, and don't swim against the current. Try to swim across the current along the direction of the shoreline until you're free to head back to shore. If that doesn't work, float or tread water until you reach the end of the current. At that point, you can swim back to shore. If you need help, face the shore, wave your arms, and yell. Get help from a lifeguard. Many people die trying to help victims of a rip current. It's best to let a professional handle it. Have someone call 911, then throw the person anything that floats and yell to them how to handle the situation. Generally, from June 1st through November 30th, warm ocean water can combine with thunderstorms, low wind shear, and the Earth's eastward rotation to create a tropical cyclone. When the maximum sustained winds of the cyclone reach 75 miles per hour, it becomes a hurricane. The strongest hurricanes can have sustained winds over 155 miles per hour. The stronger the winds, the higher the chance of the hurricane creating an abnormal rise of water at its forefront, known as a storm surge, which is historically the leading cause of hurricane-related deaths in the United States. To stay safe during hurricane season, you need to pay attention to your local weather forecasts, and you need to know what warnings are issued when. During a hurricane watch, hurricane conditions are possible within a specified coastal area, and you have time to prepare. It's issued 48 hours in advance of tropical storm-level winds. During a hurricane warning, hurricane conditions are expected somewhere within the area of the warning, and all preparations should be completed. A warning means that the weather event is anticipated within 36 hours. Be connected. Check your weather app, TV, radio, or NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards for bulletins of a storm's progress. If you are instructed to turn off your utilities or evacuate, do so immediately. Figure out safe evacuation routes, 
designate places to shelter and gather emergency supplies. Don't forget about your pets during the planning. Have a container of these items ready to go should you need to evacuate. Take every precaution you can. Avoid downed power lines and be on the lookout for some common hazards associated with hurricane cleanup, including toxic floodwaters and carbon monoxide poisoning from improper generator usage. Don't return home until you're told it's safe and be on the lookout for hazards during the journey home. Once you're there, carefully inspect for damage and don't consume tap water until authorities tell you it's okay. Weather can be dangerous, but if you pay attention to what's going on around you, you can get through a storm with a newfound respect for Mother Nature. Be weather ready, know your risk, take action, and serve as an example to others.